So if you can read the title of this video, you already know that I'm doing a video about IAT and specifically the air temperature sensor between closed element and open element style sensors. Now, I've held kind of a secret on my car for a while. I originally mega squirted this car back in the early 2000s. Back then they sold the closed element GM filters with them and that's kind of sensors with them and that's kind of how they went about it. The open element wasn't really a necessity. Well, as Maggie Squirt grew and as they said, hey, look, you know what? You really need to have an open element if your car is turboed. And that's absolutely true. So uh, one of the things I've been doing is I've been uh, being, let's just say really conservative in my spark table because of the fact that uh, I still run a closed element uh, IAT. So let me kind of tell you about what I'm talking about here. So in this case, you can see here is my IAT. It's just down here. I've got it uh, pretty much glued, screwed in, and uh, this one is a closed filament type. So what that means is the element that actually uh, has the air run across it is a solid brass piece. It's the exact same one they use for the coolant temperature sensor on this car. Um, so my car has got the exact same sensor for the coolant temperature as it does for the air temperature sensor. Now the problem with this is this sensor is also in my engine bay. So as my car is running, it's getting what we refer to as heat soak. So the residual heat that's coming off of the engine itself or the radiator fan or everything else that's in the engine, and it's absorbing that heat as well through this. Because it's aluminum, it's all taking it. This is like a heat sink for the whole engine bay that's going into my temperature sensor and not really giving me an actual temperature of the air that's coming into the engine after it's gone through the intercooler. So let me go ahead and show you the other sensor. So here's my open elements. I've got two of them just because I have them kicking around and it's just time to put them in. I've got this one with a rubber grommet on it so that way it's uh, able to be mounted in there. Anyway, I'm at the point now where I need to go pull out the old sensor and uh, let's compare the two. That side by side. Okay, so here is the closed element sensor type. This one is a screw-in type, exact same as many or all of the coolant temperature sensors you'll find on GM. They, uh, they use this for, oh man, many years. Well, notice now that this brass extension, it's all the way through. I mean, it is just a solid piece. So if the threads are heating up, let's say from an intercooler or aluminum pipe that's heat sinking them, that heat transfers right into this closed, or sorry, to this um, element right here. Whereas with this open element, that does not going to happen. I'm going to be isolated by this rubber. And then as the air flows through here, it's really going to give it a chance for that sensor to give you an accurate representation of the air that's coming into the engine. That's why this one's better. What I would notice on my data logs is as I parked at a stoplight, I would start to have the temperatures rise and my fueling would change because the engine is compensating saying, well, it's warmer, so you need less fuel. And so it was just starting to mess with me. I got to a point now where I just needed to, to take the sensors that I already had and actually put them in. But if you're going through and you're setting up Mega Squirt or Speed, we know for the very first time, don't cheap out. Usually these are like $5 cheaper, which doesn't make sense to me because they're actually more metal. Um, but yeah, get an open element type. They have different varieties of them. This, this is the type I'm using. It's just a generic GM one. Uh, but they also have the screw in type ones as well. I got this from a junkyard for a buck. So I mean, the guy was really chill and just says, yeah, you can have it for a buck. Cool. And I got it years ago. I just never put it in time. Gotta love it. All right, let's go ahead and put them in. sloppy it still works okay so she's in there she's good to go there everything's looking good on the inside you can see a good view in there I'm uh, I'm gonna put her all back together
Son of a... <clears throat> Dang it. I forgot one thing. So the closed loop and the open loop do have different connectors. You can see right there, the hat there, the hat there. I don't really want to go spend the time to go run through a junkyard. Problem solved. You didn't see anything. Well, anything too cheap. <clears throat> Just me. Okay, she's all in there. She's back together. Just got to let her dry. I'll crank her up. I'll check the logs. We'll see how she's doing. I expect everything to be fine. Apologize for the cheapness on the plug that, um, yeah, let's be honest, how many of us really want to go through resolder and do all that? So. Hey, here. she's all back together. We'll uh, let her drive for a day and then uh, I'll give her a crank up and see how she does. All right, so in the car next day, I've got Tuner Studio up and running. I'm gonna do some auto tune just because I made some changes. Always a good plan to go through and make sure you're up to date on your tune whenever you make any type of changes. And uh, we'll give it a shot, see how she does. Okay, went ahead and did a good auto tune on the way into work today. Everything looks great. All in all, it's uh, it's running really well. I could tell as I was driving that the IAT sensor was doing a really, really good job. Uh, you'll notice here that the in the air temperature, I mean, it's at 82, but if I start it up, it starts dropping. Right now that temperature is just sitting. You can see that uh, it's just slowly increasing. It's kind of heat seek as my uh, engine is not running at the moment, but yeah. Uh, that's essentially what it's doing. I mean, uh, the nice thing about it with the open element, if I go ahead and just fire her up for a second, it'll just start dropping now as uh, that temperature kind of kicks on through, which is great. I mean, that's exactly what you're looking for. Anyway, thanks for hanging in there. Hope you guys had uh, learned a little bit something. Uh, playing around with more stuff this coming week, so see you next week.